Hey guys, oh Janelle here and today I have a very special guest. This is Adele. She is from Which part? Layton Wick, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were asking about the coach. Anyway. <laughs> So I brought her here today because she sells these amazing head wraps. So she's going to give us some quick tips on how to tie some head scarves today. What you got, girl? So, well, like she said, I'm originally from Uganda country, you know, East Africa, big up all the Africans, but I'm representing the company Latemwek. And what Latemwek You means, let me pronounce that all crazy. Yeah, you know, you just wanted to take the... Latem. <laughs> She just wants to take their hand. And what that actually means cl is cloth of head. Uh, it's in the Acholi tribe, uh, where my mom's from, northern Uganda. So they don't say, they don't, they keep everything simple. Like, they don't say head wrap, they don't say gile, they don't say nothing, nothing like that. It's just the cloth for the head. It's just a simple cloth for the head. Makes sense. So that's what my company is. It started with head wraps, but I've branched up to so many things. But today we are talking about these. And this is mine. I told her bring me the most obnoxious, brightly colored one she could find. So I found her a patchwork one, which she hasn't even opened yet, but she loves it. So this is her cute little packaging. Can you see? Zoom. And that's actually you on that. That is me. You go ahead, girl. I got that as a gift from my boy G, who made my logo for me and sent me a logo. So this is how they come. I am, before you guys start asking me all these questions, I'm gonna post all her information down below in the description box. You have your website up and everything I already? do, I do. Down there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of its little magic sleeve. And I'm going to open this bad boy up. And let's take look this at, one off. Look at all the colors. There's so <laughs> many colors. I can wear this with everything. Now the beauty of head wraps is, do you remember that uh, video or the movie, um, the um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants? I do. Okay. And how the pants fit everyone? The head wraps, a lot of people want to match head wraps to their, their whatever they're wearing. Head wraps have a funny way of just going with everything you wear. So don't be scared of when you pick out a head wrap that you need to match it to most of the colors in your closet. No, step out. Let me, wear your crown. Wear it confidently. Let it, let it pick you. Let's not hit me. <laughs> so she's gonna do two ways to do it with all your hair in, mm -hmm. which could be beneficial for me when I don't want to wash and I just want to like deep condition in a bag and I do. Which is what I have all, most of the time. <laughs> I, I have no real reason for wearing head wraps except my head is not done. And then I'm gonna, well, she's gonna show me how to show you because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, two styles with your hair out. So I'm gonna do one with my hair down and then one we're gonna put it up. So shall you go first, head wrap master? I shall, I shall. Now the most important thing that I do wanna tell you is when, we're hair, when, when wearing head wraps, if I can only really speak. When wearing head wraps, it is very important to protect your hair because it is cotton or it, it will dry out your hair. So mm -hmm. find yourself a satin cap, a, a silk, what, what's it, the uh, do-rags, whatever it is to protect your head. Oh, because how many left, left in do rag? I'm gonna take it. Let me go. <laughs> go ahead, girl. Let's see. But just, you know, go ahead and put that on uh, because if you don't, and um, if you don't, it, it can, not only dry out your hair but pull out your hair especially with um, people who wear it all the time like I noticed my stress spots are right here so but I also noticed because there are times that I rush out the house and I don't put it on so I'm, I need to practice what I my, what I preach I can put it on and the the pressure of it sometimes sliding can how do you say it in a nice way not eat up your like hair friction like the, it can eat it, out your hair eat out your hair <laughs> You don't have to pull off <laughs> up in here. I love it, <laughs> but it can pull your hair out. So it's very important that you protect your your crown, protect your hair with you know moisturizing it and all that good stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna start by my favorite one, and then we'll work our way other ways. So my favorite is the flower. That's the one I get asked to to teach the most. All right. So with, with the head wraps. What you want to do is when you're doing this particular style or any style, I'm going. This is the base for most of the head wrap. Sorry, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure your head was in the camera. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> most of the head wrap styles. This is pretty much the foundation of the base. There's so many different ways. I think I've counted um, 15 different ways to tie a head wrap. 
you just have to be creative and let let it do what it does so from the way I do it which you can do it in any way you want is I typically like my head wraps to reach about here I don't want it to cover my eyes or anything so this is where I want it to reach and if I do not fold this head wrap when I put it to the back it will be too long so practice makes perfect you're going to maybe fold it about well for me fold it about what is that two to three inches which is folded and then take my thumb in the center of the the wrap approximately and put that at the top of your spine where it's the most comfortable then I kind of drag the both the ends so I'm gonna take these off And if you can see, it's pretty much where I said it was, mm -hmm. just, just about there. And then you just tie a basic knot. Now your foundation of the head wrap is what kind of makes or breaks your style, head wrap style. So if I want, I could leave this open or just tuck it in right underneath the knot making sure it's not too tight because during the, if you keep it tight it may give you a headache okay so now we're here and we're going to tie a tight like we're tying a shoelace depending on how you were taught some people were taught the two bunny ears the way i recommend is just a simple loop bring it around Keeping it close to the base, pull it through the middle. Make sure it's tight. So it doesn't look like much. But this is the fun part. This is where you spread your wings and let them fly. Yes, girl. Now the stiffness of the material will help give the definition because it will actually just kind of stay in place. If you have a softer material, you may have to work a little bit more harder. But these are, this, this particular fabric is a little stiffer than most. And while we're at them, while I'm just kind of, I can't really see, so I'm hoping it's looking cute. <laughs> it is. And then you just kind of tuck it in into Wherever you see fit, there is no right or wrong place. You could just gotta trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> you just tuck as you go. Tuck as you go to wherever you see fit. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Less than two minutes. So cute. So cute. All right, y'all. So I was hoping I was paying attention properly. I took my husband's do rag. He'll survive. And I'm gonna do, I should do that with my hair out, right? Yeah, leave Okay, so I'm gonna do it with it down. So I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna just tie. I kinda should put it at the same level. I'm gonna, oh, this greasy. Okay. Ew. Ew. That's love. That's just love. <laughs> so I'm gonna tie it here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do like that. I'm gonna tuck this back in. Oh, the little back thing yeah. that was tucking. Oops, didn't do that right. Clearly, I don't have to do rag anymore. I haven't worn a do rag since I had a doobie, and that was like a very long time.
But the more you tuck in, the smaller you make it. Smaller. That is gorgeous. That is a Ew. gorgeous wrap. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I did, but I, I dig it. Um, I followed the base. Took us, what, four tries to get this together? Right. I still need to work on my tucking, but I feel like, because I'm doing this in the camera, not in front of the mirror, it's making it more difficult than it is. This is a simpler version to it. You're on the run, and you don't want to go through the whole flower, but you want something in the front that's a little bit of a puff but not so much just take one of the one of the um, ends stick it through the more the the more you leave out the bigger it is if you want it a little bit tighter just make sure it's just a smaller loop that's left take the second end through the loop bring it all the way through leaving just a little bit tuck the rest in the hole and then you just kind of spread the wings to where you see fit and tucking a lot of it is just kind of tucking and manipulating where you want it to look and how you want it to fall because my hair is already tied down with the satin stuff underneath. And she also does these in multiple sizes and what else? Yes, I do them. My favorite ones are the group of threes, which I don't have with me right now, but if you go to my website, you'll be able to see it better yet my Instagram. And I do the group of threes for three different reasons. You can have one for your house, car, or home, a gift set. But most importantly, what I want people to buy and to do is to gift one to somebody younger or even a friend that's older and have them write three to five things that they're grateful for. So use it as a gratitude journal. And they can hold you accountable to do the same thing so we can change the world and heal the world one page at a time. But I also have the individual ones and I also have books coming straight from Ghana, West Africa. So I do sketchbooks, journals, and head wraps and also I have the unlock code keys. So make sure you follow me and I'll let you know where I'm at. We can talk a little if you have any head wrapping questions. Anything. If you see me, come on. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I'm so happy to finally have you here. I'm rushing you because I'm hungry and she brought wine, so we're gonna go eat. But thank you so much once again. Um, make sure you guys go and check her out. Like we said, this is the name of the company right here, and all her information is down below. Go get you a head wrap. Go, go ahead and get cute. Or a journal. Or a journal. Or just get all right. She likes hugs. <laughs> Some love. Walk in love. Be a blessing. Something like that. But until next time, I'll catch you in my next video. Yeah.